how to say no, how to protect your space, how to protect your opinion, how to protect your possessions. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semnek and this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today we will talk about boundaries, how to be proactive, how to create healthy boundaries and healthy relationship in your life. And there are two types of boundaries, reactive and proactive boundaries. And let's start from reactive. Reactive boundaries is something that we learn uh, during childhood. When a child is screaming, when a child is crying, when a child is throwing food on the floor, when a child is throwing things on the floor, the child is saying no. The child is saying, I don't agree, I don't want this, give me something else. The child is protesting. And this is normal for the child. Um, when the child is two, three, four, five, even six years old, that's kind of the way we learn how to protect our space, our territory, our things. But um, at this uh, stage, it's very important uh, how parents react to his behavior. The parents should tell a child that it's not okay to scream, it's not okay to cry, it's not okay to hit other kids or other people, but parents should tell a child that it's okay to have a different opinion. It's okay to protect your things and your opinion. And parents should teach a child how to communicate, how to explain your opinion, how to find a solution, how to uh, share things, and at the same time, how to be respectful towards other people. And unfortunately, a lot of parents, they do not do the second part. They tell a child, don't scream, don't cry, stop behaving like this, shame on you, don't be greedy, share your toys with your brother, sister. But they don't tell a child how to protect his opinion. And the child is learning that uh, I don't have a right to express my emotions and anybody can touch my things. Uh, when the child is growing up without learning healthy boundaries, uh, a child becomes either a victim or a rude, aggressive person. Uh, let's talk about the victim a little bit. So the victim behavior is when a child is uh, create not a child, when an adult is creating a drama. For example, a woman, when something is happening not the way she wanted, she might cry, she might create emotional drama, she might uh, create a conflict, she will be blaming others, and it's gonna be blah, 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 blah. It's all about them and I am the perfect one. And another reaction, when a person did not learn how to use the boundaries, how to protect your things uh, in a good way, uh, then the person will react uh, with the rudeness, with anger. The person will be aggressive. He will not respect other people's opinion. He will uh, think that he can uh, break the rules. And if people are breaking his rules, he will be defensive, aggressive, and uh, giper reactive. So the reactive boundaries based on emotional reaction. If you feel sad, you cry. If you feel angry, you scream. You um, talk uh, with the people in a rude manners, in a rude way. And another type of boundaries is proactive. A lot of times people, when they use uh, reactive boundaries, it's not because they are bad people. Probably their parents did not teach them uh, the proper way of communication, communication because they did not learn it themselves. Probably their parents, your grandparents, did not teach them uh, the healthy boundaries as well. So instead of blaming the previous generation, you can learn how to act differently. A lot of people forget that they have a choice, a choice of reaction. And proactive boundaries is about result. Is they based on the result that you would like to achieve. So reactive boundaries is when you react based on your emotion. And proactive is when you think first, what do I want to get from this situation? And then you choose your reaction. For example, at work, 
If uh, there is a person who does not respect your space, who maybe can come and grab things from your table, like pen, paper, stapler, without asking, he might not even think that he is doing something disrespectful to you. Maybe he was raised in a family when uh, they did not have any boundaries, when they can trust everybody at home, when you can take anybody's stuff, when you share everything together. It's like family without boundaries. We're so close that we don't have secrets, we don't have any walls, any boundaries between us. But um, maybe you were raised in a different family and when a person is coming and just grabbing you know paper from your table for you it's disrespectful but for him it's normal and if you're gonna confess him that you if you're gonna tell him that uh, what he did was rude or how could he do this this is not nice this is not how it's supposed to be if you're gonna blame blame him then he might not even understand why are you angry or why are you reacting this way. So instead of blaming this person, you can uh, tell him something like this. Uh, if you need anything, please just ask. I will be glad to share it with you. But when you just come and take stuff from my table, I feel disrespectful. I know it might be different for you and maybe you did not mean to be rude towards me, but this is how I feel. It's very important to tell the person about your feelings. Instead of blaming him, you tell him how you feel. So this way there is nobody's fault. When you use I statement, a lot of people will hear you. You will have a better chance to create a healthy boundaries, healthy relationship with your uh, team at work. And uh, often I see when the people can be great communicators at work, but when they come home, uh, it's a totally different story. So at work, they know how to solve conflicts. They know how to protect their boundaries. But when they come home, their family members do not respect their time, do not respect if, uh, uh, do not respect their things, they do not respect your feelings. So this is also possible. Sometimes we know how to behave in one area of our life, but we don't know how to apply those same skills in other area of our life. Uh, but remember, you're not a child anymore. Uh, what was in the past is in the past, and now you can change your reaction. Uh, if you did not know, if your parents did not teach you how to communicate how to protect your boundaries in a healthy way, then it means that for years you were developing reactive boundaries. And of course, it's not easy for you to switch like this and become, you know, the person, a great communicator who knows how to solve conflicts. Of course not. It's possible, but it will take time. And there are specific skills, there are specific techniques and specific exercise that you can do. And step by step, you will learn how to use words, how to uh, be respectful towards others at the same time, protecting your own space, your own opinion, your own values. If you would like to learn how, if you have questions, please leave your comments below and uh, come to my private sessions where we can talk about your challenges about your situation and i can offer specific exercises for you and help you to develop healthy boundaries and when you have a healthy boundaries when you know how to protect yourself then you can feel more confident your self-esteem will go up your self-confidence will go up you will be more successful in your work, in your romantic relationship, in your friendship, and the life will be easier for you. You will reach your results faster and you will be just a little bit happier and the life will, be, will bring more joy to you. So if you would like to come for the private sessions, all links will be below. Also check out my other videos. I have separate playlists about the money, relationship, success, self-love, self-confidence. Everything will be linked below. If you find this video helpful, please click like, subscribe and share. When I see your likes, when I see your comments and your questions, I would it makes me 
to create more videos. It motivates me and I would like to share more videos with you. Let me know what topic would you like me to discuss next. Uh, you can write your questions below uh, in the comment box. If you have anonymous question and you would like to ask me a private question, you can go on my website and there is a specific form where you can fill out your information and send me uh, your private questions. Uh, please share this video with your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, help me to promote my channel and of course thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness where happiness is the purpose of life. Thank you.